Hello, my name is Hannah Rose Crabtree. I'm also here on behalf of the Washington Tiny House Association. I am a builder, I'm an advocate, as well as a tiny house dweller on behalf of thousands of tiny house dwellers across the United States that can't exactly show up and say that because it is not exactly legal for that to happen. I generally work with people to figure out a way for them to have shelter that is safe um, and to understand the laws that they are breaking and break as few laws as possible in order to survive. That's really what this bill is about. Um, and opening these bills, opening this legislation really means that as tiny house builders have been working to build homes incredibly cheaply and affordably, they would have access to millions of dollars in funding that has been set aside for affordable housing, which is incredibly exciting. So um, I really just wanna say that pushing these bills forwards will really help, but I also wanna point out that if they have the same permit fee schedule as an additional dwelling units now and detached additional dwelling units now, it is not an affordable option because often those permit fees are higher than the entire cost for me to build a tiny house for someone. I build tiny houses as small as 64 square feet that have a bedroom and a kitchen and a bathroom and a place to eat. And I can do that for under $25,000. So if the permit fee is above that, that makes it not affordable anymore. So as I continue to fight for this county by county, jurisdiction by jurisdiction and sit in front of zone board by zoning board I need you to not only support this but support it with the intent that it continues to be affordable at every single level so that I can truly make affordable housing for people across the United States thank you very much that was seriously impressive <laughs> <laughs> thank you I was wondering if you even took a breath in there <laughs> thank you Hello again, this is Hannah Rose Crabtree here, and I just wanted to talk about the massive need for tiny house communities. I probably get asked this question more than anything else, and I have talked to hundreds of thousands of people. I've traveled across the entire United States attending conventions and classes and workshops and meeting tiny home builders everywhere, and everyone says, I want a tiny house community. I'm going to build a tiny house community, and I have to break down the legislation for them and how that works, um, and how they would have to build an RV mobile home park and how that wouldn't exactly work with what they're trying to accomplish. So let me just say that there is so much need out there for this. I have multiple people that have come up to me to say they are ready to invest in this, that they have millions of dollars to put aside for this, but it is not legal and they cannot do it. And I spend most of my life telling people that the things that they want to do are not legal. And that is why I'm here right now trying to make the things that they are trying to attempt to do legal. So there is such an incredibly huge need for this. People will fund it. People will show up. They will live in it. If you look at the case of Spur, Texas, it was kind of a dead town and they decided, yes, we really want a town. So they invited tiny houses to come live there and they made 60 spots for people to come. And those spots filled up so fast that they were trying to make more spots for people to come down to Spur, Texas and live in tiny houses. So if you even look at the tiny pilot programs that have kind of happened for counties just saying that they could possibly do this, so many people show up and live in those tiny houses. And if you look at Yakima um, County, they said, yes, it's totally fine. Everybody can live in their tiny houses if they totally want to. They just have to be inspected by LNI. And then LNI said, we don't have a board for this. We don't have a position for this. We're not going to inspect your tiny houses, so you can't do it. So there are many different levels of this that have to be passed, but there is the need for it. There is the support for it, and we just need it to be legal. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, all I can say is you would have a career in doing voiceover for political ads. So, all right. Very, t very tough act to follow yet again.